Clown Armor's Pokefans, we're going to talk about episode 58 of Pokemon Horizons, and let me just say I love this episode. I, listen, I was a little worried because of how they were framing things and how we're going to get like, and how we're going to get like three Roy episodes, which as a Roy fan, I should be ecstatic about it, but I think, I don't think it was, I think it's kind of unfair, um, but now seeing this episode... Uh, I hope that Liko gets an extra episode because we literally got two Dawn episodes because we'll get this one and episode 59 Which is the battle against Larry. So I, I, I Personally, I really like this episode. I really like uh, everything that happened in it um, King Gambit, which is one of the the new evolutions that happens in in Gen 9 um, The evolution of Bisharp. I think it's Bisharp because technically speaking It's supposed to be like a bishop because it's all like chess pieces and shit um, but I <laughs> You know, they always set it up to be like this very aggressive and overbearing and grueling like Pokemon just because like what it's based off of, which is like the King's Gambit move in chess, which is like just full on attack. Like the, the, don't don't care about anything else. You're literally gambling away the entire game on this one move. So it hasn't been shown off to be the Pokemon that that, that has like any other stance except just aggression. Right? So, and this is one of the things that I talked about uh, in the previous episode review with uh, Zoroark. I love when the Pokemon anime is able to give different personalities to Pokemon from what you can kind of infer based on their designs. Or like Pokedex entries and just stuff that happens in game, right? So, I'm really, I really like it when the anime is able to, to do this this type of stuff for, for Pokemon. Um, I love the, the, the couple. Um, I'm assuming they're a couple. They made it sound like there were a couple. Uh, but the owners of the restaurants, I love the, the, the history, the backstory. And I love that it wasn't the generic, like, oh, we built this restaurant from, from the ground up when we were younger and all this other stuff. And, like, we brought this Pokemon with us and, and everything was going great and then everything went to shit. And, like, um, I'm glad that it went, like, the completely different route because it's, like, the, the dude, the old man, and King Gambit opened up the restaurant and then the, 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 the lady came in. And then they brought her on board. Um, and they do have their, like, married couple banters, right? That, that was all sweet. And, and the King Gambit is the one that keeps them, like, steady. Like, I, I just loved everything that happened. And then, like, Dot really shown a lot in this episode. Because the thing that really holds his whole episode together is... Because the moment that Tinker Think, like, puts everything into motion by destroying, like, the pan that the, the old man uses for some of his uh, creations, um, basically snowballs into everything that happened. And it literally all happened because of Dot and her team and how she's connected to her Pokemon. Um, when they go out to try to replace this item for the old man, he, she takes Tinka Tink and like, Legal is like, are you sure you want to take them? Because like, isn't sure she's going to destroy everything? But like, no, like she's like, Tinka Tink knows iron, knows the best quality because that's what Tinka Tink like is, is attracted to, to be able to like create all this new stuff, right? And all these hammers and stuff. So she has a good eye for what's quality. So she's gonna take it so that she knows exactly what to purchase. So I and then and then even her working with with Quaxley to to get the the patrons to go to the restaurant and and everything else. And even the thing she did with with Onyx, which listen, I like Onyx. Onyx is I still think to this day personality wise, I think Onyx is my favorite of the explorers. I think still my favorite is Spinel because of his conniving ways. I, I love his character, but I like Onyx's personality the most out of all the explorers. Um, and this man is like, he, he, he feels offended. He feels attacked saying that, oh, you want to fight me? You want to fight me? Well, I accept your challenge because he's a very honorable man, right? So he, he tries to see things in a different point of view. And so when she, she when the King Gambit is like, like, you know, kneeling down to, like, apologize and shit. And then Quaxley's like, I'm going to charge it. Because they still... I, I'm so glad they really didn't go with the Team Rocket route. Where the kids are like, who the fuck are this? Right? I'm glad that the kids know that it's the Explorers. Um, because Quaxley... Quaxley's about to go in. He, she, he thinks that Onyx is going to be in here to, like, wreck some shit. Because they don't trust them. Right? And so he's charging it on him. And he's like, oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Let's fucking fight. <laughs> And then Dot uses this to her advantage because she's like, <laughs> all right, let's fight, bitch. And then, because uh, this whole time, the restaurant, listen, the restaurant fucking sucks in terms of, like, the food that they serve because they're just throwing shit together, right? 
But there's like this one particular like part of their whole dish which is really good. By the way, the thing looks nasty as fuck. Personally speaking, I would never touch that thing with a ten foot pole. Okay, maybe in the Pokemon world things just taste different and maybe they taste better. I personally will not touch that meal with a ten foot pole. Personally speaking, right? So <laughs> what ends up happening is like the particular dish that's like the best part about it is like the noodles that King Gambit creates. So like Doc goes into like this whole conspiracy because they they weren't able to attract the customers. To, to return because the food wasn't that good, right? It wasn't that memorable. And so she has King Gambit make the noodles while she's fighting Onyx and like making a spectacle of it to attract customers, right? And <laughs> and it was just amazing. It was, it, I love every part of it. Every single part of this episode, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't think there was a single point that I wasn't like intrigued with what was happening on screen. I love the dialogue that Dot had with the owner um, I love the history that the owner had with King Gambit. I like King Gambit the way it was shown off. Like literally, this episode for for a non Roy centered episode, which is surprising because you guys know that my favorite episodes tend to be Roy centered. This is like the second episode in a row that's not like what I expected of an episode, and they thoroughly surprised me, and I thoroughly enjoy them. Right? I, I <laughs> like I really really like this episode. And I liked the last episode, and I really hope the battle with Larry is a good episode. I will say, spoilers, but in the preview of the episode, they, they, they're really hinting at it. Quaxley's evolving. I'm telling you, Quaxley's fucking evolving. And I, I, I was like, god damn it. <laughs> so, if this is happening, um, technically speaking, we're on hiatus next week, so there's not going to be an episode review next week. Um, but when the show comes back, um, I think it's on the 20th. I don't know when it is. Anyways, the point is, when it comes back, we're going to get the, the Dot versus Larry episode. And I, I, I'm telling you, Quaxel is evolving. I think this is going to get some action in there, but I'm pretty sure Quaxel is evolving in this episode. And I'm, 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 I'm getting hyped for it, man. I'm getting fucking excited. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about anything else. Just know that I really like this episode. I loved everything about it. I've always liked all three of our protagonists, but like episodes like this is where I kind of fucking need, okay? I like episodes like this that aren't centered on like trying to progress the story because we do need those like mellow like filler type episodes to really expand these characters and 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 have them grow and and like just just get you attached to them right like i like dot more now because of this episode and and i and i'm really looking forward to her battle with larry next episode i granted i kind of wish there was more of these types of episodes like sprinkled in between there because right after this we get the three Roy episodes which are going to be tangling like his battle against Ryan. I think he, I think technically speaking that battle is like a two partner um, from the way it looks and like the first episode is like just them being in the place. So I'm going to make the, the wild call that the first Roy episode is going to be similar to this one and then you're going to get the two Ryan episodes and then we get Lico's. Like Lico doesn't even get a pre pre episode anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, I hope that she gets something afterwards to to like balance it out a little bit, um, because Dog gets two episodes, and then like Roy's gonna get three, and then Lico's only gonna get one, which is kind of unfair. But then again, she technically had two episodes before, so it kind of balances out, I guess. I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave that review up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below about what you guys thought about the episode. Um, what you guys thought about the review and and just let's keep it pushing uh, Horizons is, is now on, a, on an upswing, right? Um, I'm really really enjoying this uh, And I I hope that it, it maintains this steady climb. Okay, I don't want it to like peak and then drop like I, I, I don't want to do that Okay, so that's what happened in season two. Um, I'm trying to I'm, I just keep it going up steady by steady Okay, I, I'm liking the episodes that have been released um, Recently and, and I can't wait to see the rest of it. So that's gonna be it Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Soros Croxton, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.